Hi guys, I just finished watching the TED Talk video for this week's lesson and I honestly wrote, wow, she is such a strong, fearless, and dedicated leader. And you could sense that from the very second that she started talking that she was passionate about what she was sharing. I don't think that it necessarily changed my ideas about what makes a good leader. It just made me think about the challenges that she and others have had to overcome to lead in such adversity. Linda is an exemplary example of how strength and softness come together to create an amazing leader. And that's something that I touched on a little bit last week, that it takes both. You have to be strong and you have to be clear about what your expectations are. But there has to be a softness to you in that building relationship piece. So I think that she had that nailed. What I can learn from the video to be applied to educational leadership was the entire video, but her slogans really stuck out to me. Her first being that if you're going to lead, lead. And I think that sometimes we have leaders that may not always lead. They're looking to others to make decisions or maybe they're a little indecisive and that comes across like you're not leading or you're not sure about what you're trying to do. And it's hard to follow when someone's not sure what they're trying to get the team to do or the group to do. Second, so what now what? As teachers, I think that's something that we need to be thinking about often. We all have classrooms that have challenges, and what are we going to do about it to reach those students? And third, if nobody told you they loved you today, I do, and I always will. That was the most impactful for me because while watching the video, she obviously believed in the power of that slogan, and it's clearly made such a difference for her school and for her students. She didn't say anything about how she treats her staff, but I would venture that she probably treats them in the same way, and I bet that's how she was able to make such large changes in such a small amount of time. Overall, I really, really enjoyed watching this video. I think there's so much that you can take from it and apply to your classrooms today and in leadership to come. So I'm excited to see what you all took away from it this week. Talk to you guys later.